Our next guests are the married co-owners of a restaurant in Utah called Sea Bears Ogden Fish House. The couple and their four children wear kilts and they carry guns, all while waiting on tables. Welcome to the show, Tony and Monica Sebas. Now, Tony and Monica, we're not real interested in the kilts, because I, I don't think they've got much to do with this story. It's the guns that we're interested in. Uh, Monica, to you first. Why do your wait staff and your family members pack heat in full display in a restaurant? <laughs> well, the reason we decided to open Carrie was more just to start conversation with our customers and, and <laughs> to support the it. Second <laughs> Amendment. <laughs> you know. Well, it's to support, support the Second Amendment. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty normal thing in Utah. It's not a, as big of a deal as, it's, as it may seem to um, other people, but Those we get a lot of support. Those of us who live in New York City. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, Tony, let me ask you this. Is, is this uh, are you seriously protecting your staff and your customers because you feel a threat from folks shooting the place up? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, the, w when we started this out, we were just getting our concealed because most businesses do that uh, in, in Utah, or I don't know about other states, but at least in Utah, most businesses have a firearm. You don't generally need them during the day, but my wife was waiting for her concealed permit, and while you're waiting, you're not allowed to conceal the gun. You have to do open carry, and she doesn't really have a big gun. She just has a little sm shield, uh, Smith & Wesson, and she had it on her side, and uh, she got a lot of comments, especially from women that had a lot of questions, and that's kind of why she kept doing it, too, is because they're very interested in, you know, how can I get my concealed? How, what do I need to know, or how do I go about the process? So I don't know how long you've been doing this uh, open carry in the restaurant, but since you started it, has business gone up or down? <laughs> we've done it for, which is surprising that we were getting all the attention now, because we've done it for almost a year, and um, business has been increasing. The last week um, has been insane and crazy because of, because of the press, which is welcome. It's a little overwhelming for our little family. Um, but it's been very positive, and um, people feel safe, and that's the overwhelming majority of the response that we've okay, gotten. I've got, two, I've, got two, I've got two real quick questions, and I've only got 30 seconds. Okay. Number one, what's with the kilts? Tony, what is with the kilts? <laughs> <laughs> my my grandma was Scottish, oh, okay. and my son, yeah, got to start with this. He said we not we need to wear skill, uh, kilts and be a Scottish fish house. So that's what we decided to do. A Scottish fish house. Okay, <laughs> I've only got ten seconds left. What do you pack? Thirty uh, eights, forty fives. What do you do? Smith and Weston Shield nine millimeter. Thank you very much. You, you, <laughs> you, you will be deluged with business after this, let me tell you. So, Tony and Monica, thank you very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>